Okay, so another video on something else that I bought. So you can see in the background my X595 with a loader. And I decided that I guess I wanted another one. So, or yes, similar, it's not exactly the same. So this is a 2003 uh, X475. Um, it doesn't run, but supposedly, if I can, this hood is like stuck, but has a uh, replacement Kawasaki V-Twin. This is either 25 or 27 horse. When I looked, at, looked up the model number there, it came up with two different engines, but it's a repower. Um, this is a carbureted one, um, so 75 mean, or the 7 means it's carbureted, 8 means fuel injected, and then the 9 is uh, diesel. So this has an actual like choke here, is somehow on how that works, but um, we'll figure it out. Uh, no four wheel drive like the other one has, this one is just two wheel drive. Um, it's in pretty bad shape, I mean it's not perfect. It's definitely not shiny, but you scrape the hood, it does kind of come off. And uh, this plastic, it's green all the way through. So if it got pressure washed, and I think it could get buffed and then uh, back down to the green, uh, you can't paint these. You, could, you just got to basically sand it off. And then looking at this tag here, um, if the camera would focus here, it has actually came from New York. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I bought it here in Florida, so that was kind of kind of neat to see. Um, I wish this hood would come off because I really wanted to show you more, but I can't take it off, at least with one hand. Battery doesn't work. Uh, basically, the story is on it is that somebody had it, and apparently it overheated, and that was it. And I bought it from somebody that apparently traded some stuff for this, and then he had it. And then resold it to me and here it is right now so uh hydraulic ports here on the side are pretty rusty so my plans is with this is basically to use as a mower i have the 62 inch deck that came with that one so i'm going to put that on on here and it's basically it's it's going to be my new uh, actual mower and then it'll possibly get a three-point hitch uh, with like a trailer ball on it just to lift trailers up and move them around But otherwise, I'm actually going to take the hood off the fenders probably pressure wash it and get uh, Get a, something done on it and then come back and uh, I'll tell you exactly what's going on Get a little bit more of an idea on it So as you saw there, it does run. Um, the only problem I could really see uh, for sure is the fuel pump didn't work. So I rigged up this other one just to my booster just to get fuel pumping. And a bunch of white smoke came out the exhaust at first. And then uh, as you can see, it's kind of smoking just because exhaust probably had some oil in it. But a bunch of white smoke came out at first and then it cleared up. But as I was working on this, I noticed something here kind of cool. So if you see here, it says date of manufacture uh, basically uh, 2019 and then it says here uh, EPA regulations for 2019 so that there is a uh, two-year-old engine so yeah that's uh, that's pretty cool and this engine because uh, I was actually looking these up uh, because I you know I was told the engine isn't any good so and these engines run around 2,000 to 2,400 bucks so being that Somebody bought a brand new engine for this two years ago and uh, basically parked it. Spark plugs looked like brand new yet, like it hardly even ran. I mean, look at how clean that air filter is. Of course, the uh, the outside shroud, or uh, not outside shroud, um, the pre-cleaner, uh, something chewed at it. So that was in multiple pieces. Otherwise, the rest of this seems to be in pretty good shape. Forward and back works, uh, power steering works. Uh, the gauges uh, don't work. Our gauge don't work, but that's, I mean, really kind of whatever. 
Um, so yeah, that's actually it for this. All right, so I made some progress. So I realized that after shutting the camera off before that it didn't seem like it was pumping coolant like it was supposed to. And then I opened up the radiator cap there and it was completely empty. So after putting some in, it started spraying coolant all over the place. And there's currently coolant dripping on the ground. And if you pull the dipstick out, you got, you know, coolant on the dipstick where it's not supposed to be. So get this back in there. So that's kind of where we're at with this. Um, so I think not just tear the whole tractor apart to freshen it up. Probably uh, taking the engine apart too and uh, figuring out exactly where it's leaking and fixing that. So that is going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.